This video is going to show how to scan for an iJig single arch. The first step is to create an event for the patient. In this case, our patient is row dental lab birth date. Well, do we go all the way back to the beginning? Why not? 1926, January first and that's true I jig I jig test and new case okay generally I go click the laboratory that you want generally when we scan here at the laboratory we pick scan only and in this case, this is what we want to do. We, we don't want to tell the system that it's a particular implant or it's a tooth or anything like that. We just want to do scan only down here, right here. And all we're going to do is scan the arch. In this case, it's a maxillary arch. We're going to scan the arch only and send to the lab. So I, I picked that. I think, I think they might make, I do have to pick a tooth for some reason. And there we're going to click scan. Uh, we've already calibrated and we know what we're doing pick the upper and here we go this is going to be a really quick simple scan and all we want to do is capture the tissue around the MUAs And that's all we need, because all we really want to do is to be able to... I'm just going to go around in a little bit of circle here to make sure we capture the full MUA and so that we can register the iJig scan to the model, because we don't want any, any voids that we have to guess. Okay, perfect. That's scan one, that's event one. And with this, you would just simply save it, export it as an STL and upload, or send it to us. Okay, just simply send and you're done. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna clear this scan out, but just imagine that you've already sent this scan off to the row, you've given us a name, you've called it an iJig in the notes so that we know, we, we, we've done many of these, we'll know what this is when it shows up, but just put iJig. And then open up another event. Let's see here. Scan upper. Okay. And we're, now we're going to scan the second event for the patient. And this will be the eye jig outside of the mouth, the prosthetic outside the mouth. Now, the eye jig scan is the patient's long-term prosthetic and in this case this is a rapid appliance and that's okay for demonstration purposes but this would be a, an appliance that the patient has been wearing either after surgery or really any uh, any appliance that's on multi-unit abutments that the patient has been wearing and we want to at least use it for records or maybe duplicate uh, but use it for records to send to the laboratory. And in order to do that, we scan this prosthetic 360 degrees, but we do it with our iJig scan analogs in place. So I'm going to assemble these. These are basic analogs. You'll need a prosthetic screw and simply screw them to the prosthetic. And then we'll scan. Okay, I've screwed in four of the five. And I'm just going to add one more. You just simply put the analog in the intaglio, put the prosthetic screw on, and then just simply screw them together. Okay, and snug. You don't have to torque it. Uh, make them snug. Make sure that they are fitting perfectly. And one of the tricks is before you do this, is to take a toothbrush or an ultrasonic and clean around those cylinders. They've been in the mouth for a while, they could have some calculus and they could hold these up. And if these are held up by any material, then obviously it's not gonna fit and it won't be passive. And now we scan. So holding the prosthetic like this on, on one end, 
We're going to scan. It's basically a crown and bridge scan. We're going to scan the teeth. Just follow the normal patterns of scanning the teeth. Right across. And this is the trio scanner. So obviously it's going to scan really well and fast. Uh, but we have received iJig scans from all scanners. They all work. Actually, there are a couple of exceptions. And I'll put those exceptions on the post that we've noticed, but they're 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 less common scanners. But this will work with the Serac, especially the new Serac. The new Serac's a wonderful scanner. So use that. Okay, so here's the trick. The trick is you, you try not to scan more than one scan body at a time within the window, within the field of view. So scan one at a time. You see the green box? Lift it up and scan that analog. It's okay if you catch another one and it works, but sometimes it'll mistake one scan analog for another, you see, and you'll get a double scan, and that can be a real problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep scanning this side, and I'll come around to the other side in a minute where my, where my fingers are and the glove is, but I'm going to try to finish most of this side first. Try to keep this in your, your field of view here so you can see both going on at the same time. So I'm going to come back around here. I'm going to grab the lingual of this one. All right, and uh, uh, the apical part of it. I'm going to come around. I'm going to try to grab. I might ha be able to grab both of these at the same time because they are on different planes, you see. They, they don't look the same because they're in different rotations, which is another little trick of setting them up in the first place. Okay, those are good. Now I'm going to hit pause. And I'm going to come around to the, um, I'm going to, I'm sorry. This is how I was holding it. Now I'm going to switch over to the other side. So I'm holding on to what I've already scanned. And now I'm going to start by coming back to a known area, which is teeth here. Okay, good. Come around. And I'm going to try to capture just that scan, just that scan body if I can. Okay, good. Don't worry if you scan a little bit of glove in the background. That'll disappear later. Good. And sometimes if you have a tough time capturing that scan body, you can just tilt. Uh, you can tilt the scanner up. I'll show, give you an example right here. If you have a tough time capturing it, Capture both at the same time, the teeth, uh, sorry, the teeth and the scan body pointing up in an up direction. That'll also help with the scan. Okay, let's come around the lingual, distal, oh, kind of lost our reference there, there we go, okay, scanning, okay, it's struggling a little bit there, that's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to roll around to the Occlusal. There you go. Nice. You can see that it'll scan two things at once. It'll scan the prosthetic and it'll also scan those iJig scan analogs because it's in the field of view. And look how nice and clean that scan is. That's, that's, that's a really good scan. really love the Trio scanner. Okay, uh, that is it. We did a nice scan. Okay. So the iJig scan side is finished. And now the next step is I'm going to remove, you will remove these scan analogs, and then you'll screw the prosthetic back in the mouth and then we'll scan the bite and the opposing. And you can see that really completes all the records that you need 
to make a uh, to make another prosthetic. Okay, now let's 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 pretend that uh, that the appliance is back in the mouth. In fact, I have I have placed a prosthetic back in the mouth for demonstration purposes. Okay, and now we're going to scan the lower. It's just a single arch, um, you know, a single arch prosthetic. So let's scan the lower. Right, this will just this can be a pretty uh, pretty quick scan. We really just need the teeth. We don't need the you know the the vestibule and so forth. So let's let's just scan the teeth. Now we do want to print a model. So let's try to get. All the teeth, uh, labial, lingual, but we'll still make it a nice quick scan. All right, and, and just just fill it all in. I probably about a sixty second scan. Okay, the opposing's done. Now let's scan the bite. So put the patient in occlusion. This part's quite simple. Uh, we do ask that when you do when you scan a bite, try to scan um, half an arch. Oh, give me. Need to move to the next step, which is bite scan. Occlusion, good. A little tricky to handhold it here, but you have the patient bite in a, and just have him bite in a perfect equilibrated bite. And let's scan the bite. And as I was mentioning, try to scan a little bit more than the, than a little area that registers it. You see, you still, it registered it, but just scan some more. Sometimes scans come over and they're not uh, perfectly lined up with the scan that you took. But if we have a nice, broad uh, impression of the of the bite registration, then we can manually do some alignment. And that is an iJig scan. Simply send this to the laboratory. Tell us what implants these are. It's very important. These particular iJig analogs are Nobel compatible. Uh, but we work with most systems now. We have libraries for most of the systems, but not all, and that's that's really important. So we want to know what implant system this is. If it's a if it's a um, uh, a third party implant, we want to know that too. So if you're using a third party, it, it may require special analogs, uh, not the analogs that uh, that the original company that it was cloned from. So. Be very specific on the implants. If you have uh, you know, a Strawman, a Nobel, and a Strawman and a Zimmer in the mouth, please let us know which one is which. Very, very critical for us to do our job. Uh, so send this off, and then we will fabricate a iJig for you to try in the mouth section, uh, sectioned and uh, pick up loot together and so forth. iJig scan.